my CO2 jet's not working with DMX. What's the problem? Well, this is a crazy question because there's a lot of problems. So looking back in my mind and scanning the many problems that we've had and heard from customers in the past, really it comes down to the DMX controller. Now, on a rare occasion, it could be a jet that fires on a different channel or something else because it was a power surge and one of the boards started going out, not uncommon. But typically what we've seen in the past is when customers use our products on rentals or for purchase, and they say it's just not working, the DMX isn't working. Well, that's really a vague question because what's not working with it? If the DMX controller's on and the jet's on, something's going on here. And more times than not, it's either the profile they're using, it's an incorrect setup, or it's something that's going on with the controller itself. And of course, the basics, could it, it could be the jack or it could be the cord. So if you've already swapped out the DMX cable, you've already swapped out the, um, the DMX, uh, basically a new cable, a new controller, um, it could be the jet. That's not completely out of the equation. But like I said, 95% of the time, it's been the more sophisticated DMX controllers, like the Grand MAs or something else that's more sophisticated, that somebody tried to put a profile on it and it didn't work. Or somebody tried to create a profile and then that created profile didn't work. Or the DMX channel's different. The program's trying to fire on channel three, but the jet's uh, assigned to channel five. Now we have another video that just talks about DMX. We're not gonna get into that here. This is more of a little bit of a higher level. Um, some of the other things that we've seen are when you use converters, a three pin to five pin DMX. So a three pin DMX to a five pin DMX connector. We've seen problems on those. Where did you get it from? What type of connector is it? Is there any changes or uh, mixed up um, types of pins? And then of course, anything that went from DMX, anything, three pin or five pin to an RJ45. We've seen those as issues before. We actually had a client two years ago that had a show, they set up, everything worked on their mini controller, but when they plugged it in, didn't work. We sat there and tried to troubleshoot for about an hour, and guess what? It was a three pin, uh, sorry, a five pin to an RJ45 connector that they got somewhere, and that didn't work. That created a problem and didn't allow the entire system to work. Other times we've seen it where DMX has been spotty, it's been flickering, well, that may be two pins are swapped. Again, we can't know this until we get the details from you. So if you're contacting us because of this and you've seen this video, you have to present all the facts as if we were a court case, okay? Uh, we don't wanna bring legal into this, but for joking purposes only, we need to know. If we were a jury, like we have to know all the facts. What type of controller, what type of cables, where's the signal flow, what type of connectors or adapters are being used, what's going to what, what's the pattern? Are all the jets not working or only two? Is one jet not working and everything else is? Like all of this matters to help us be able to troubleshoot. So if you have a piece of equipment and it's my CO2 jet's not working with DMX or I have a DMX controller and it's just not working, this is a good video to watch. We have others on the channel. If you need more information, contact us, service at cryofx.com. Thanks for watching.